Now I know what you're thinking. I'm sure at one point in our lives we've all listened to a song that we really had a connection with. A lot of people know Lil Darky and have heard of Spider Gang, but some people don't know about A14 and his music. His music is the definition of what doing whatever you want really can be. Sometimes people let others control what they do, but in reality you really shouldn't let society control you. Because if you do so, you aren't really free to have fun and be yourself. But before I go ahead and show you an interview or how we got where he is today, I need to feed you the hardest pill to swallow. In today's society, everyone is systematically fucked. Which leads to the age-old question of, how so? Have you ever had a feeling that hits close to home when you're angry and just can't really get anything off your chest? Well, to sum it up, that's how A14's music is to me. It's like a relatable feeling that resonates not giving a fuck when your mom's bitching at you to wash the dishes. While I was interviewing A14, I decided to ask him if he had any mental struggles when he was making music, and he replied with, I mean, yeah, like a lot of this shit is just because I'm like angry and upset. Oh, that's, yeah. that's, you know, just the yeah. emotion. It definitely helps me. Like when I was, in, uh, when I was little, I used to be really angry and shit. Like I used to just like, just flip out on my parents and stuff. But like when I started making music, it actually helped a lot, so. Yeah, I get where you come from. I used to like make fun of people in my videos. <laughs> yeah, I see that yeah, leafy yeah. stuff. Yeah, bro, Leaf, I think Leafy's fire. Leafy's dope. The thing about Spider Gang that I've learned is that they're all really nice people. And these past few days, I've noticed more and more that if you put loads of friends in a group, you could accomplish anything you've ever wanted. Just like when spiders work together, they could per se trap a lion. You could do basically anything if everybody's working together. And even from what I learned from A14 is just that he felt that he had a group of friends that supported him, helped him out. It's cool. We're all just hella cool. That's pretty much it, really. It's not like, I don't know. <laughs> we all, uh, I, don't know, I feel like I have a really good group of friends that I'm not really around all the time, which is cool because I can't be, you know, because I'm still yeah. 17, so I can't really be with them all the time. But when I was in California, it was really cool. It was like cool. I was like all with them. We were all chilling, making music. It was a, it's a cool experience. I don't know. I like it because uh, I just have, I have everyone to fall like to like, not fall back on. But if I'm, if I'm ever upset and I can't really like talk to my actual homies about it, or if I need advice for some shit, like I can always go to them. It's, it's, it's cool. Just like most song artists, people usually have a name for themselves or a persona. Ever since I ran into A14, I was always curious how he got his persona, so I just decided to ask him his real name and how he got the idea of using the mask. My real name is Merrick. M-A-R-R-I-C. -R -R it's hella weird. I don't, I'm not like ashamed of it or anything. I just like, you know, you can't really, I don't know. I just, I just chose A14. How did you create like your rap persona? Oh like shit, this is, a, this is a funny story. This is a good story. Fuck yes, this is a good story. All right, so I was in like eighth grade or like uh, freshman year, and I was just chilling, and I was in my dad's crib, and I was like going through his closet, and I saw this like hockey mask. I was like, this shit looks cool, cause like I don't know, it just looked cool. So I was like wearing it, taking pictures with it, cause I was a dumb fucking fifteen year old, fourteen year old, you know. And then one night I had like super long hair. I like lit my hair on fire with the mask <laughs> in, in a video, like I took a video of it and like sent it to like everyone in my school and like everyone like put on their their Snapchat stories and shit, was, like <laughs> like moving it around and it was just like going to like hella places and it was just funny. Damn, I, was, I, was so, I was so stupid. I was trying to like reach for like cl like clout or some shit. So uh, I just like from there, like I was just like, whoa, this shit's funny. I'm just gonna run with this mask. And then um, I met Darky and we did Bars Fat and he made it like a character of me because we all have characters, obviously. Yeah. And um, he just made the character with the mask. So I was like, fuck it, I, I, that shit looks hard. <laughs> so from there, just like kind of just, that was it. That was what I did. But you're probably still wondering the exact same question. What does A14 really mean? Is there a deeper meaning behind it? It's always fascinating to see the unique symbolism and creativity behind each and every song artist's name. But what is A14's? So the A stands for Apollo, which is like a um, like a Greek god of like music and uh, like like a bunch of things like the sun, music, like, like a bunch of shit. He's, he's a Greek god of like a lot, 
So I, I, I don't know. I'm really like a, I'm a nerd. For, you like uh, the number 14 or? Nah, 14 was like, like the year I was like fucked up and like kind of figured uh, out like I need to like actually, like yeah. figure out what I want to do. Like really, like I need to like do something. So it was like, oh, I just put the two together. I just kind of ran with it. Oh wait, so like, how old are you then? If it's right now, right now I'm 17. Oh, 17? Oh wait, so yeah. I'm a year older than you. Damn, I didn't feel like I was. Yeah, right now I'm 17. I'm about to be 18 in summer and September. The more I dive into making videos on them, the more evidence comes clear to me that they don't care what others think or the way that society wants you to live by. You don't need to live by certain social standards or have the best title to do what you want in life. One thing to really keep in mind is the fact that not only A14 as an individual is talented, but the entirety of Spider Gang as a whole is. And they make music not for money, but because they really just enjoy doing it. One thing I also thought was really interesting was finding out his backstory and where he's from. Well, I'm from New Jersey, uh, from like uh, Ocean County area. You probably have no idea where the fuck that is. <laughs> not really, no. Yeah, it's like close to like trend and shit, but like I don't, I don't know. Um, I was making music like two years ago, maybe. I think I think I started like two years ago, probably freshman year of high school. Yeah, yeah, like freshman year of high school, I started making music. And there's these like group of kids that were just fucking like horrible at music, just fucking <laughs> just really bad. So me being me, because I knew I was like, yeah, I'm better. I made like a bunch of like diss tracks on them, and like. It was just hella, it was just hella cool because everyone was like, like talking shit about me because, you know, I'm a, yeah. I'm, a little, I'm a little freshman kid talking about like these big ass senior kids or whatever. <laughs> so like, yeah, I made like a diss track on them. And then from there, I just kept like making music. I don't know. It was like, I was trying to like copy other people because, you know, when you start out, you always look up to someone and I don't yeah. even know who I was really trying to like sound like i guess but then i just kind of like fell into my own sound of like just distorted shit distortion and raw 808s are really what make a spider gang song a spider gang song if they didn't use as much distortion or the beats that they choose for each song it would be like eating soup of a fork and well <sighs> what are you fucking stupid anyways each song by a14 made me realize that this group is extremely unique to me because they aren't just some group making music and producing it they aren't just writing lyrics like every other artist. They're putting something on that's creative. Um, I met up with them through, I was in like a tiny, tiny group. You know who Chauncey is? Yeah. 666 six, six, Chauncey, yeah. I was, I'm, I'm real close with him, even though I haven't talked to him in a minute, because he's just been hella like, just MIA. Not even MIA, just, I don't know. I feel like we're both kind of different, but I was, I was with him in a group called Orange Gang. It was just me and him, it was no one else. So one day he was just chilling, he was like, yo, there's this rapper called Lil Darky, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I'm like, okay. He's like, you need to listen to him. I think I heard like Red Acid was the first song I heard by Darky. Yeah. I was like, this motherfucker is crazy. This is so, this is so fire. <laughs> so Chauncey was way bigger than me at the point, and he was just like, yo, I'm gonna like ask him to join the group or whatever. And Darky was, I think he said yeah, but like he didn't take it seriously because it was just, like two people, and he had Spider Gang. So yeah. So then through um through that, I was just mutual with everyone. I was mutual with Darky. I was um mutual with Black. Um. What about, I don't know, I was just mutual with everyone. So eventually yeah. it was to the point where I was just like so close. I was on FaceTime with him one night or something. And we were just like talking about like hella deep shit. Like, we, cause I was like upset or something, something, some bullshit. And he was like, I was, he was like, um, no, nah, that's what I like. He was talking to me about Spider Gang, about how like he only keeps the people close to him that inspire him. And like he only keeps Spider Gang, like the people he's met. I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to meet you guys. He's like, you're, you're in Spider Gang at this point. Like, I, I know, I, I like, your energy you know like i know you're not a bad person and you're gonna we're gonna meet yeah. eventually so you're in so i was like damn at that you point i was be used a friend to get like you have to be a mutual you have to know somebody you have to be friends with them and you have to understand them like you know what i mean yeah like, it's like more, the group the group's more of like it's not just like hey you're cool on the internet let me throw you in spider gang because you're cool anyone really we all kind of have to just like agree it's just like a spontaneous thing you know yeah it's like everybody has to agree with the person being in the group and then it just sort of happens. Yeah. However, as any newcomer to Spider Gang, many people have most likely been wondering the exact same question. If you listen to Lil Darky in the song Holocaust, he brings up 314, all these other rappers soft. When I asked A14 why he said that and if anything happened, he said, I was just chilling and I the song dropped and I was I was just chilling in my bed when the song dropped and um <laughs> 
and I heard it, and I was like, that's cool. So now every time he performs that, he says that, which is fucking hella cool. <laughs> A14 is a song artist as well as a unique character that not really many can describe. Spider Gang is an extremely well-formed group because its primary focus is not on who works better or what would sound better. It's based on if they're a friend and someone who will support the others as much as they support you. A14 is really just underrated in my eyes, and he always will be for his talent brought to the table with Spider Gang. He shows that you can go anywhere doing what you enjoy in life, regardless of social standards. You can follow your dreams and create your own wave. That being said, if you want more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Elucid and peace peace.